few weeks ago, I bought a, a dress on on the uh, internet, and the dress said it was according to my body size. But when I received the dress, as you saw in the earlier pictures, this dress is nowhere near my body size. <laughs> this dress is three or four times wider than I am. Okay, okay, let's see. Two thirds wider than I am. So what I'm gonna demonstrate for you today is how I'm going to resize this dress. It has pockets, which I love. So I'm gonna kinda keep the pockets, but I'm going to um, cut it off, resize it, and sew it back together. Now, whenever I decide to do that, first thing I do, now I can do it two ways. I can leave this upper part and just cut it, start here, and then start shaping it in to fit me. Or I can do it the easier way, the better way. And that way is to take the pockets completely off the dress, reshape the dress, and put the pocket, add the pockets back on. It's very simple. It won't take that long. So stay with me and you'll learn how to resize your own dress. Okay, we're back. Now, what I did was I went back, I cut off the pocket. Well, after doing that, I didn't really have to do that. I could have reshaped it from the pocket down. So the other side, I won't cut the pocket off on that side. I'll just tell you what I'm talking about. I won't cut this pocket off. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to reshape it on that side. So what I did was I measured my body all the way around, how wide I want the dress. I want to keep it. The dress measures actually 50, 52 inches or so. It's 26 and a half times 2, whatever that is, which is way more than I am. I'm only I only have 38 inch hips. So I decided that I'm just going to take 2 inches off each side. So as you can see, I took some chalk, measured it all the way down, starting under the pocket line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut it. But I'm also going to leave about a half an inch seam allowance all the way down. Because that's, that's where I want it to end up at. But I don't want to sew on that line. So I'll go back in. And if you're new at this, I didn't say what you needed. You needed a ruler, some chalk, some good fabric cutting scissors, and you will also need some pins. So what I'm going to do... I could do I can eyeball it because I've been sewing since I was 14 years old but what what you could do if you don't know how normally the average seam is five eighths I only need a half an inch so I can add about a half an inch and this little chalk is going to add a little bit more than a half I can go actually do it this way make a, make it simpler but you just got to be able to see it through it you know and just mark it all the way down, you know, about half an inch. I can sort of eyeball it pretty good. And we're going to take it all the way down to the end. Now, the dress is very long, so that's that's another video about cutting off. And the material is pretty good. It's, I ordered it from one of those online companies overseas. And it took two weeks to get it. But I like the material. I like the knit of it. So I'm, that's why I kept it and didn't send it back. And because I can sew, I can always go in and fix it. And so what I also did was I marked the two lines right here where my um, pocket's supposed to be, where I want to sew it back on. So I left it, marked the line so I wouldn't mess that up. So I'm going to go in like this, and then I'm just going to cut off about a half an inch all the way down and I'm going to do the both I'm going to do the same thing on both sides while it's still together and been moved then I'll go back and I'll pin it now this way by doing it this way I have an option of whether or not 
uh, I need to take in more. I'd rather start out with less than to start out with too much and then I've ruined the dress and I, I got to gift it to somebody else. So I think this is going to work. But after I, um, I actually I could try it on while I, with the pins in it. I could actually do it, do that way, do it that way. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Sewing was my first passion. That was my first crafting thing I learned to do was to sew. I, well, it's not even crafting. To me, sewing is just a way of life. It just came natural. I found that my mom sewed, my niece, my aunt. I mean, quite a few people in my family sews. Okay, now I'm going to just go ahead and cut off all this extra. And I'm going to cut it kind of close. But what I am going, because this material tends to roll, and I don't want to use my serger to, uh, to finish it, I'm going to go back and, and just stitch a line, another seam, next to the, the main seam. And that way it won't roll anymore. Okay, I realized that the two inches that I took off the first time was not enough. So I cut off that part and I realized it's still not small enough. So I'm going to take off two more inches. And when I get done, I'm going to show you the pocket. I put the top pocket back on. And it looks pretty good. It looks normal. So next time I won't take the pockets off first. I'll go ahead and shape it first. And then if I need to take the pocket off, I'll put it inside. Now I'm hoping it's two inches, four inches. I took actually total. Four inches off this me. Now, when I get to the part up near the pocket, I'm gonna, I'm gonna curve. I'm, I'm actually sewing upside down. Normally, I sew from here down, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch. I'm gonna blend it right back into the pocket. I'm not trying to make the pocket thick. See, I'm just going right back into the seam and stop. Back stitch, release. And hopefully, this time, when I try it on, it'll fit a lot better. Okay, this is my results. Fits me a little bit better. The pockets, I'm gonna leave them like, like they are. They're supposed to sort of like hang down. Actually, don't hurt me to have something looking like I got sort of kind of hips on the side. But as you can see, I took in about four inches on both sides, and it fits pretty good. Now we're gonna have to work on see the bottom, but that's that's easy. That's just a matter of cutting it off. And then, so the next time you see this dress, I will be dressed in it to look good for the day. Thank you.